down, we gon' burn it down, burn it down, burn it down, we gon' burn it down, we gon' You are about to be a savage cause you got this from Tina. Welcome to Superfly. That's S-H-O-E-P-E-R Fly. All things super fly in shoe form from reviews, news, and most importantly, shoes. Each week I'll present a pair of shoes that I've either certified super fly or a don't buy. So without further ado. Understand it. I'm a fucking bitch. Hey, you can fuck with me if you wanted to. These expensive, these is red bottoms, these is bloody shoes. Get this fuck, I can get them off. I don't want it to. Then I'm white, put a nigga off, so don't get comfortable. Look, I don't dance now, I make money move. Hey, I don't gotta dance, I make money move. If I see you now, The Reebok X Cardi B Club C Women's Sneakers, designed by the rap sensation Cardi B and infused with the Grammy winner's take no prisoner attitude, added with a pop of sass to the sneaks breakthrough style. The high fashion meet street mashup style mirrors Cardi's layered look while the platform hype pays homage to her larger than life music career and personality with a translucent outsole keeping it real 24 7 just like the shoes namesake. Just when you thought it couldn't get any flyer, Sugarfly delivers yet another stunner as usual. So smash that like button, hit that bell, and subscribe to my channel for more celebrity trending styles. Going all out with this new collection designed to catch the eye and maybe a few side eyes as well, Cardi B's latest collection is shameless just like the woman herself. Kick it into high gear with this high fashion women's lace up sneaker based on rapper Cardi B's standout, flashy, and fun style featuring a tie closure, one inch chunky arched platform with a woven loop at the tongue, leather and synthetic upper textile and synthetic lining, sole and translucent outsole. The imported center also boasts a removable cushioned insole that offers arch support. And see, you can remove it. I'm not gonna take it all the way out because it does have what appears to be a glue-like film at the bottom of it. The summertime fine sneaker silhouette here in the color Sahara Black Sahara in a women's size nine from Nordstrom.com for $107.75, including tax and free shipping, is in very limited quality, quantity and sizing but also comes in colors core black, dynamic red, rose gold, footwear white, footwear white, chalk, chalk clear, and crisp purple. Add additional retailers like Finish Line, Bloomingdale's, and Journeys in both women's and big kids sizing for $74.98 to $100 excluding tax and shipping. So to buy or not to buy, that is the question. Well, 
unfortunately my superheroes it's another celebrity shoe that's not super fly and a don't buy and here's why aside from the shoe running a half size too big and even if going a half size smaller it still feels too big and unnecessarily roomy and it just looks long it's a long looking shoe also the round toe design is very much masculine in, in appearance in my opinion rather than narrowly feminine as is typically common with women's sneakers it's just cut like a man or boy shoe also the translucent outsole strangely covers the bottom of the sneaker itself rather than simply serving as a bottom platform and me just don't like it like i can look through the translucent outsole and see the tennis shoe it's just too much shoe making my foot look big and while i can appreciate the comfortable chill throwback vibe and fresh color and style coming all together as one it's too much to rock these the right way. You would have to do a lot, like go all out and cop Cardi's partnering apparel and then some, which Cardi herself would not mind. But I do. Tell me what you think. Here's a closer look for now at the Reebok X Cardi B Club C women's sneaker. Yo sé Dolce, yo sé Bulgari, ponte lo quito, ponte lo pari, las copas de vino, las libras de Mari, estás bien suelta, yo de safari, tú me ves el culo fenomenal, voy a devorarte como animal, si no te has venido yo te voy a esperar, en mi camino lo voy a celebrar, baby a ti no me pongo, y siempre te lo pongo, y si tú me tiras, vamos a dejar el hondo, si por mí te lo pongo, en septiembre te voto, en mi cinco The 27 year old rapper Cardi B has received a lot of positive press of late. Most recently, after releasing one of 2020's most iconic songs, WAP, and becoming the first female rapper to have five number one songs on the Billboard Hot 100 with her latest release, Up. Unfortunately, though, she may be in for some bad press as the rapper's plea deal for a recent court case involving a strip club brawl is set to expire to avoid jail as assistant district attorney Ryan Niclosi suggests the clock is ticking. In 2018, Cardi B and her husband Offset were partying in the NYC at the Angel Strip Club when, after hearing rumors of Offset having an affair with two sisters, Batty G and Jade, who worked at the club as bartenders, Cardi B allegedly assaulted both Batty G and Jade at the bar, supposedly with some co-conspirators by her side. Cardi is said to have thrown a hookah pipe and two glasses at the sisters. Initially, both the defense and the prosecution tried to reach an agreement in which Cardi would have avoided any jail time and only needing to stay out of trouble for a while. But Cardi rejected the opportunity to plead guilty and walk away from the court case entirely. 
Cardi was indicted with 12 misdemeanors and two felonies since the fight left the bartenders injured and faces charges of assault, harassment, criminal solicitation, conspiracy, reckless endangerment. Really? Cardi has pleaded not guilty to all the charges and proclaims her innocence. So it seems unlikely that a deal will be struck given plea deal talks with the Bronx raised rapper have been going on since 2019. And despite Cardi's legal team initially rejecting the offer over a year ago. As time rages on, it seems like Nicolosi's patience is running out in the offer to overlook Cardi's felonies if she doesn't accept the plea deal, which could mean a jail sentence for her if she's found guilty. Now, when is the last time you've known of a woman going to jail on a felony for a fight with another woman? Seems like an overkill, but hey, I'll keep my opinions to myself. <laughs>